Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stefano Bernardini and in today's tutorial we will see how to expose uh, multiple uh, non-MuleSoft API with the Flex Gateway. Let's go! Anypoint Flex Gateway is a brand new product by MuleSoft uh, that is inside the uh, Anypoint platform. Uh, it's an ultra fast API gateway for APIs running anywhere. Uh, so it's uh, ultra fast uh, and this is designed uh, to manage and secure APIs. Uh, not only uh, do MuleSoft uh, secure uh, uh, MuleSoft API with uh, the standard uh, gateway, uh, but uh, uh, it's also uh, secure uh, uh, non MuleSoft API that is uh, running anywhere. And uh, so it, it extends uh, any point platform to all APIs and build a responsive experience. So let's set up a new Flex Gateway. Uh, let's uh, enter in the Runtime Manager. Okay, let's select the Flex, uh, Flex Gateway. This is my old uh, Flex Gateway. Let's select uh, only, let's see only the connected one. Okay, I have no connected one uh, gateway. Let's uh, set up uh, one of them. I can choose uh, between Linux, Docker and Kubernetes. Uh, so I uh, choose uh, uh, Docker. I would... let's, uh, 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 let's run the Docker desktop. Okay. And this is uh, the, the command I have to enter. Okay. Uh, let's uh, enter in the uh, PowerShell and uh, uh, let's enter in the PowerShell. Uh, I will use uh, uh, WSL, uh, that is uh, uh, Win uh, Linux uh, inside uh, inside um, inside Windows. Okay. Uh, let's uh, copy and paste uh, every command. Okay. Uh, I think in Windows it will be the same. Uh, the Docker is not yet ready. Okay, let's wait uh, a second. That the Docker uh, is starting. Okay. In image I already downloaded this image so this is my the, the next command in order to re register uh, my gateway okay I have to modify just uh, this uh, uh, gateway name uh, for example uh, my flex one okay The registration is starting. Uh, the config file with the directory registration. So this is my registration YAML. Okay, uh, and then I start the gateway with this command. I have uh, I, I I'm inside this directory, so I have the registration YAML file, so I can start the gateway. Okay, let's uh, copy and paste. Okay, let's go back. Uh, let's go back uh, to uh, to Flex Gateway in order to understand uh, if I have uh, one connected. Okay, my Flex one uh, is connected. Um, now I can uh, um, uh, I can uh, um, move to the API Manager section. Okay, now we need uh, um, two API. So let's uh, uh, set up this two API. I, uh, for example, I use uh, uh, this uh, um, this Python example in order to run a, a simple API that uh, uh, send me back uh, uh, this Hello World 1991 and uh, uh, Hello World 1992 uh, because the the, the service is exposed on on these ports. Okay, uh, so let's just uh, run run it. So. Uh, it's Python, so I just need uh, to invoke uh, in this way. Okay, so it's running on an, in a, on a localhost 1991. Let's uh, run even the other with the Python API. Okay, let's uh, 
minimize this window okay uh, so if I uh, if I move uh, to Chrome in order to invoke uh, localhost 1991 hello localhost 1992 hello 1992 hello 1991 so now we uh, I, um, I needed to protect uh, uh, these two API okay so uh, let's move back to uh, API platform let's add uh, an API I use uh, flex gateway this is the brand new uh, my flex is the name of the my gateway okay uh, I, I want to create a new a new API uh, asset name uh, for example uh, uh, example 1991 it's an HTTP uh, API okay Uh, now I need to enter my implementation URI. Uh, for example, uh, uh, localhost, uh, this is 1991. For example, localhost 1991. Okay. Um, uh, there is a, a, a little issue uh, here because uh, localhost, my localhost uh, is not the localhost uh, of uh, this, uh, um, the localhost. Uh, 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 of the Docker where the Flex Gateway is uh, uh, running uh, is not the localhost uh, of my uh, WSL uh, um, of, of, of my of my PC. Okay, so I need uh, to check uh, my uh, my IP. Okay, so IP config. So I need to enter my uh, IP. This one. Okay. Uh, let's check uh, if it's uh, uh, correct. If is it correct? Okay. Okay, perfect. So I take uh, this one and I put here. Okay. Uh, I remove hello. I can also uh, set a base path, for example, uh, API. Okay. Let's uh, select uh, save. Let's wait for the deployed uh, for the deploy of this uh, configuration in the Flex Gateway. Okay, uh, we, we can uh, try with uh, uh, Postman to test uh, if everything uh, is correct. Uh, let's uh, add a new requ request. Okay, HTTP localhost 8081 uh, API hello. Let's see if everything is correct. Okay, perfect. Uh, so this is the uh, Flex Gateway that call that the uh, 1991 invocation. Okay. So uh, I can also call directly my 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 API with this uh, uh, hello. Okay. We can also uh, see uh, in the uh, in the header uh, here. I call uh, directly my um, my API that is exposed uh, with the uh, uh, Python waitress. Uh, while if I call uh, uh, the 8081 API, hello, uh, I see that in the header there is uh, any point flex gateway. Okay. Uh, so let's call. Uh, uh, let's configure an, uh, another API. Okay, uh, let's add an, another API uh, with Flex Gateway. Uh, let's select my Flex one. Okay, create new API. Uh, the other API is uh, uh, the name is example 1991. So I create example 1992. Okay, so it's a HTTP API. Okay. And the implementation URL uh, is uh, this one. Okay, I have to remove uh, uh, hello. I can also insert a base path. Um, 
and uh, I, I click on advanced uh, here I cannot set uh, uh, this port because this port is already used by uh, the other configuration so I need uh, to enter another port otherwise uh, it, uh, it may uh, conflict uh, with the, the other uh, the other endpoint so I have, I have to check uh, to set a different port for example 8082 okay okay the status uh, configuration is uh, up to date okay perfect let's uh, uh, first uh, call uh, the second api okay okay waitress body is message 1992 okay let's now call uh, the 8082 flex gateway with the api hello okay uh, we see that uh, it, it doesn't work. Uh, this because uh, my flex gateway on port uh, 8082 is not exposed uh, outside the Docker. So I need uh, to um, run Docker with a, a different configuration. So I go back uh, to, um, uh, to Runtime Manager in order to uh, copy and paste uh, my, my Docker uh, configuration. If you see the command I run uh, at the initially, this one with Docker, that is this one. Okay. This command expose uh, and uh, for, uh, and port for forward only port 8081, but my uh, my second API is on uh, 8082. So I need uh, to expose uh, both the ports. So for example, uh, to expose uh, multiple ports, uh, I can uh, add uh, this, uh, this one. So uh, from 8081 to 8082 is uh, uh, forwarded to port 8081, uh, 8082, okay? So I stop uh, my uh, flex gateway, okay? And uh, I rerun again uh, with uh, this configuration. Okay. Uh, so let's uh, uh, wait. Uh, let's wait uh, for uh, uh, the configuration of a new connected flex gateway. Let's wait a bit. Okay. Uh, as you can see the update list and example example 1991 and the example 1992 now is up, up and running my status is connected now i can um, enter my flag gateway i enter uh, my uh, apis okay uh, so in the 1992 let's view the details everything is configured uh, now the the port is forwarded uh, correctly, so let's uh, uh, let's call uh, the 8082 uh, port. Perfect. Uh, as you can see, I uh, I uh, invoke uh, the AnyPoint Flex Gateway, then then invoke uh, my uh, my port uh, on 1992. Perfect. Okay, uh, so now my two APIs uh, is uh, secured by API uh, AnyPoint uh, Flex Gateway. Okay, as you can see in this uh, uh, in this picture, uh, the client uh, invoke the API Gateway, and then the API Gateway invoke the API implementation. Um, now in the API Gateway, I can add uh, all the policy I want. It's very important uh, to enable some uh, security aspect in order to avoid that the client invoke directly the API implementation. For example, in the 1992, in, the, in this policy, in this API, I can add a simple policy, for example, the simplest one uh it's uh, uh basic authentication uh admin admin for example okay so to the second uh oh thank you to the second api the uh, i can i i need now my the basic authentication so if uh, i uh, invoke again this new um 
if I invoke again this new uh, uh, API, uh, I uh, in, in a couple of mi of seconds or, or uh, minutes, I think it will uh, ask me for the uh, basic authentication. The um, the policy is not uh, immediate, so we have to uh, uh, we have to wait uh, a bit. Maybe I I pause the video. As you can see now, uh, uh, it asked me for basic authentication, so I simply um, select the basic authentication. I select uh, admin admin. Okay, and now the um, uh, the the, the Flex gateway responds me back with the hello world 1992. It's very important that if I invoke my API on 1992 that is not protected, I don't need any basic authentication. Okay, so it's very important uh, to avoid uh, that some. Uh, if I uh, if I secure this API, it's very important uh, that uh, we we need to avoid that the client invoke directly the my API. So we have to se secure them. Uh, for example, avoiding uh, um, uh, invocation from outside uh, of the Flex Gateway. Okay. Uh, that's all for now. Uh, please, if you like my video, subscribe to my channel and see you in the next video. Bye.